Le député de Catan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'll start with a little editorial in saying that if anyone needs any proof that we need to smash the patriarchy, it's that listen to the health minister's paternalism responses is, is really hard. And Mr. Speaker, yesterday was an historic day for El Cibuktuk First Nation. They announced they have entered a memorandum of understanding with the federal government to have exploratory discussions about the possibility of negotiations based on the recognition of El Cibuktuk Aboriginal titles, rights, and treaties. These discussions will also consider the protection and management of the environment and natural resources in Chinooktuk, the land of the southeastern portion of New Brunswick. It is important to note that the only two signatories of this MOU are Elsie Buktuk and the federal government, as, uh, as the New Brunswick government has not yet agreed uh, to participate. New Brunswick's full-time minister of Aboriginal Affairs was not even present at the announcement. Can the full-time minister of Aboriginal Affairs Affairs explain why the province is not a signatory of the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, for the, to the member opposite for the question. Plain and simple, I found out about the announcement at 8 p.m. the night before. My duties were here. I was not invited to the announcement formally. I read it in a press release. So the short answer to the question is I wasn't invited to Elsie Pugtuk. Now, in fairness to the member opposite, if I had been invited, Due to the minority situation here, I would have still had to be here in Fredericton, but I was not invited. This is a bilateral agreement. There was no formal um, conversations between the province and the feds since October of 2018 when staff were informed there was maybe something stalled. And the uh, Chief Aaron in Elsie Pugtog formally requested that we be a part of the MOU only on April the 25th. So I did my job as minister. I'm bringing something into, uh, into the province. We can look at it and see how we might participate. Thank you. The Deputy of Kent, no. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I only found out at 10 o'clock, and I was there. And to, to pertaining, <laughs> and pertaining to the minority situation, we could have went together. <laughs> This is a question of priorities of this government. They had two weeks, two weeks notice that they, they could have sit down at the table to talk about the MOU. They did not decide to, to go do so. This morning on CBC's Radio Information Morning, Federal Minister um, Carolyn Bennett said that she hopes the province will join the federal government and Elsie Boktok as a partner for these discussions. The title rights and treaty right claims were filed by Elsie Boktok with the federal government as well as the federal... Uh, and, yeah, sorry. It is hard to believe that this government takes First Nation relations, our management of the environment and natural resources in the land seriously when they will not even agree to sit at a table. With the full-time Minister uh, of Aboriginal Affairs explain what this government's plan is to come to an agreement with us. Time member. The Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member opposite for the question. Once again, my duty as Minister was to be in Cabinet at 9 a.m. I was not invited to the announcement, and Mr. Speaker, we were not formally involved since October. So in October of 2018, the province learned that things were stalled. We were not at the table. It became a bilateral agreement. Here's the interesting thing. I find out from the chief on October the 25th, uh, sorry, April the 25th, that he would like us to be part of the MOU. I have no problem with that. My, as, as minister, my duty is to bring that back to government. So that's what I did. I'm doing my job. But to find out late in the, state, in the game like that is very difficult. I mean, right now it's a bilateral agreement, and I would have been here anyway. So here's the thing. Your question isn't worth it, because how come the federal government didn't invite me? How come they didn't invite me? Mr. Speaker, how come the federal government didn't invite me? How could I be in New York City with that minister on the date, pretty much on the date I received a letter, and it never even came up? You Time, Minister. Yes. 